in my own experience, I see that the only way to, to outshine data streams, all our thoughts and emotions, sensations, experiences, difficulties that we are facing in our lives, uh, the only way for me, it was just coming here, meeting this amazing training, the Balance Through Training, and being introduced to um, a very powerful and simple approach of allowing all data streams to be as they are. All data streams means all of our thoughts and emotions, everything we perceive in our life. So here in the Balance View, we call it data. And, and by allowing it all to be as it is, just even right now, there is a outshining. You know, outshining. Everything is selfless. Everything is allowed to be. And the way I train myself in my own life, and most of us probably, is replacing our data streams, avoiding our data streams, indulging. Taking everything as an opportunity to fix ourselves, to change ourselves, change the other person. And here we have the invitation to allow it all to be as it is and to face complete stability. <coughs> complete stability, strong stability within yourself. Just by allowing it all to be as it is. So you can even test it right now, uh, sitting here whatever emotions you have, thinking about how much money you have in your account or how to really support the center, how to participate yourself in contributing or thinking about preferences. I like to wake up in the morning and indulging in these stories and then you just allow it all to be. You know, like a line drawn in water, you allow it to be, living in no place. And then what you see is that You remain stable. You, you can function regardless. You have complete stability and power over your mind. You're not affected by your thoughts and emotions. You know exactly what to do. You know exactly what to say. And everything is of benefit to all. So you have a clear discernment. And that's what I see in my own life, really. Being introduced to the Balance View Training and, and taking short moments of open intelligence or opening intelligence. And, and allowing myself to expand inexhaustibly. Taking anger, for example, allowing it to be as it is, there is a, an expansion. We suddenly, you can, by allowing it to be as it is, there is no effect. We, we might feel all this energy of anger, wanting to say something, but moment by moment, short moment, we, we allow it all to be. And, and we see that we are of tremendous benefit facing this anger. So the, the, the result is always for the benefit of all. And, and that's really very special to see that it's so natural for us as human beings to be of benefit. It's our natural state, not something to cultivate, not something to think about, not something to learn. Natural way of being of benefit to all. And uh, you hear at times now, we speak about open intelligence and opening intelligence, but <coughs> the same. It's the same. So sometimes we use that and sometimes we use open intelligence. And, and Candice is using now open in opening intelligence too, just to, to show the inexhaustibility of your intelligence. You see, it's like limitless. It's, it's like forever <coughs> present. It has no boundaries. It has no limits. It's always present. So opening intelligence, just to listen to that, allow us to open up, open up this intelligence that is available for us. So when short moments being taken by all of us, there is an immense contribution for the benefit of all. In everything that you're facing in your life, remaining, remaining natural, having pres preferences, no need to change yourself. Enjoy, enjoy the sunset. Go every moment, enjoy it. And take short moments in the meanwhile. You, know, you can just be as you are. You can just be just as you are. There's nothing more to say. And with that, with allowing everything to be as it is, there is an, uh, a natural responsiveness and responsibility that gained by you to see 
what will be of most benefit to all, including yourself. And, 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 and just seeing yourself more and more powerful, more and more stable, and more and more open, able to ask for support as well, able to, to just be honest and say, okay, I'm, I'm experiencing jealousy, how can I clarify that? I'm experiencing anger, how can I clarify, how shine this data? I'm experiencing difficulties with my intimate partner. What is the solution? How can I be of benefit in my intimate relationship? You see, that it's, it's, a, it's a very beautiful question. All questions are so potent. So it's great to ask questions, and at times also align questions to be as they are. But you will know when you need to ask the question or allow it to be. But it's good, you see, everyone is coming here and by asking questions, everyone can relate to that, what you shared. It was very beautiful, like wanting to appear in a certain way, wanting to appear stable and powerful, but by asking questions about this, you gain a great power and stability. You allow yourself to be even more powerful and open and humble as well in a very open way, like there is no mystery about <coughs> yourself anymore. Everyone feels the same. You know, it's like it, we're humans, we have the same mind, same heart. You know, so we experience similar things in our life. So asking the, this question, uh, it, it's very beautiful to hear that. And I, I can say, and I'm sure most people say, okay, I, I experienced that too, wanting to appear to be, to do my best to be excellent in everything I'm doing, you know, to, to, to appear to be at all time powerful. So our shining data along, along the way, it has a tremendous power to be of benefit, allowing afflictions to be as they are too, and sharing them in the context of the four mainstays. Then you are really of benefit, not by complaining to your friends, complaining to your parents, you know, s blaming one another. Instead, you take responsibility and you support yourself with the four mainstays. The four mainstays are the short moments, <coughs> repeated many times, that you can do whenever you remember to do. Short moments of opening intelligence. Again, remember, inexhaustibility, allowing you to be, allowing yourself and the arising data stream or datum, one datum, to be as it is, Remem remembering that, and, and, and your trainer, an amazing relationship with your trainer, that you can clarify all of your data strengths, bring solutions, suggest solutions, really wanting to clarify things for yourself, and opening up more and more to this support, amazing support, and getting stronger, that's what I see in myself, getting stronger, not only physically, getting stronger, clear mind, clear heart, you know, everything is just clear discernment for the benefit of all. I know what to do, I have the four mainstays. It, 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 takes, it takes over completely, it takes over completely. The four mainstays are there, the, 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 the two other mainstays are the trainings. You know, there are endless trainings to do. If you think that you know it all, come to the trainings. If you think that you gain enough confidence in open intelligence, come, enjoy the training, see that it's endless. You have endless things to learn, but it's always so much fun. It's not like you're missing anything out, but just by allowing yourself to come to the trainings again and again, you, you, see, um, you see yourself, you get to know yourself in a very powerful way. The, the trainings are always adjust, adjusting to the here and now, to be responsive to the needs of the benefit of all. So the text and the language, they are just so powerful and potent. For me, I can just read endlessly the trainings and to be with different people, to hear one another, to hear human beings, and to, to be heard as well, to make my vo voice count, and to be of benefit, to see that all of my data streams, that was we see in the training, when we come, when we ask questions, when we have the trainers and the text, we ask questions and then suddenly we see that the data is not there anymore, it's completely like lined on in water, resolved, no, no trace. And even if not, we gain confidence to see that by others. So this is the power of the trainings and all the talks 
the videos that you have, everything is available for you. So test it in your experience. And then coming to the community here, yeah, that's amazing. Even just thinking about community, you resolve all, all data streams. You see each other, how people exemplify open intelligence in themselves. You see when we have participant shares, how people share direct experience of, of just being a human being relying on the four mainstays and everything getting so clear. You hear the results, the benefits, and you can see that you can do it yourself. So this is how we gain trust together. We open to learn, but without really learning. So it's like an effortless way of, of, of being human, but having a structure for that, having support for that. It's completely available for all human beings, women and males. <laughs> and all the data that comes along, all the cultural belief systems and assumptions, great to have them. Great, and you can take them all as an opportunity to rely on open intelligence and expect the power from each one of them, to let them be as they are, without reacting on each one of the belief systems and assumptions you have, allowing them all to be as they are and discerning what will be of most benefit. Then you have complete respectful relating with one person to another, with yourself to yourself. All the cultural data, you, you allow it to be as they are, and then you see just how to relate to one another in, a, in the most respectful way, without putting your, yourself down, learning to speak up when needed, even if you are a woman, or even if you are a very shy man, you know, you learn to speak up for the benefit of all. Your speech, beneficial. <coughs> Prioritizing the benefit of all. If you don't know what to say, Better not to say it. Better not to say it. If you're unsure about what to say, take full responsibility there and don't say it. You know, that's what I, I say to me myself. I saw it completely. You know, just trying to instinctively just say what I'm thinking and feeling. Trying to be honest. You know, this trying to be open, honest, saying everything. And now with open intelligence, there is complete discernment. Now, is, it, is it really needed? Will that be of most benefit if I say that? And short moment, without even thinking about it, you just know, okay, you just, you just don't, don't, not allowing yourself to be affected by your own data streams. You see that you're not a victim. You can allow data streams to be as they are, and you are of great benefit to yourself and others. That's really the crucial juncture, the meeting with open intelligence and data. When you see that all data streams are inseparable from open intelligence, you take full responsibility for your speech and actions. Your body becomes open intelligence too. The way you appear to people, in a natural way. Taking responsibility, it's really important that here, every, every team in there, at the center working together, <coughs> all of us, you see it alive. If things come coming up for people, everyone take responsibility. That's important, that's priority. That's the commitment. That's the follow through. Taking responsibility and commitment for complete freedom in immediate perception. Just to hear that, it's like complete perceptual openness. Data arising and, and you, you just know what to say. Or not to say, how to act. How to be of most benefit? What should I do today? What decision to make? How to follow through as well? And, and I saw it in myself, saying, okay, I'm not following through. I, I'm not, I see that I'm not committed enough. And then just by sh asking this question like today, he, he, you see that you really wish to, to do it all, to do, to do your best. And you can, you can suggest ways to your trainer or even to yourself. You can empower yourself to up hold your commitment. See that you can do it. You know, one day at a time, you can do it today. And then tomorrow again. You know, making a time for it. Maybe half an hour a day, I will uh, focus on this project. Maybe just one day a week. So there are always solutions. You see, from open intelligence, there are always solutions, like everything is possible. Not possible, it's not in, the, in your vocabulary anymore. 
You, you, you cannot even say it. It's not possible. It can't work. Yes, OK, you, you just bring solutions always. Manifest benefit to all. The, the communication here in the Balanced View community and everywhere in the whole world when you meet community, it's, 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 it's a different way of, of communicating. Like you, you never met something like that. Always open-hearted. Open-heartedness is the key here. You know, it's, it's not, there is no rule book, but everyone respecting the benefit of all. In a natural way, everyone takes responsibility. Everyone has different data streams. That's fine to have them. They are not a problem anymore. Also money data. The money data, you know, it's not scary. Money, money anymore. It's, it's um, again, moment by moment, you take responsibility to see how to take care of yourself. How to take financial responsibility as well. You know, contributing, taking part, making a plan for yourself. How can I contribute? Even if you think you can, you think like you, you don't have any money, even for yourself to eat, you just find ways, solutions. <coughs> and, and you're supported by the four mainstays to see that, that you're not a victim to your money data. Finding a stable job if needed, making a plan if you have debt. You know, you can just make a plan to see how you can pay back to the person every week, every month, even just a little bit. And then saying, okay, it's, it's, um, I always feel so generous regardless of my money data stones. I have no money, but I feel so generous. You know, that's what you see in yourself, whether you have money or not, complete generosity. This is the heart of open intelligence again. There is no lack. There is not not possible, or I can't, I don't have, a complete solution orient orientation in your communication as well. You know, sometimes we feel like we want to say, oh, I'm, I don't have anything and I can't do it. But then try, try something different. You know, try to empower yourself and see that you can really, uh, you know, I, I don't see how I can do it now, but let me think about ways. And then opening the intelligence again. Seeing what can you provide to yourself and others. <coughs> uh, so this is amazing. We're all, all, well, everything is open for you to explore. All knowledge is available. And that's what I see in my life. It's amazing. It's like, it's, it's unstoppable. Open intelligence cannot be stopped by any of our, our, dat our data strengths. There is no special, special data that you can say, okay, this is the one. I, I'm a mistake. I'm a flawed. You know, I, that's it. I cannot recognize open intelligence. No, you can. You can everywhere. You can more and more expand and see that, not only for yourself. Resolving one data stream without shining for the benefit of all as well. Once you see it in yourself, you see it for everyone. <coughs>